Dear friends, today we will reflect on St. Paul's joy even while he faced difficulties in his life and mission. Paul was aware that life has its joys and sorrows, that love is tested amid trials and that hope can falter in the face of suffering. In his second letter to the Corinthians, he reveals more of himself in pain, in joy, in suffering, in frustration, in anger and in confidence. He writes frankly and affectionately. He speaks about his weaknesses and the hardships he has endured for the gospel and marvels at the way God uses fragile human instruments to communicate the treasures of the gospel. He writes, We boast in our suffering knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character and character produces hope. In the course of his preaching, Paul underwent innumerable sufferings being constantly in danger of death for the sake of the gospel. But nothing would deter him from his purpose. For Paul, to live is gain, because while he suffers in this life, he is imitating Christ and becoming more Christ-like. Another dimension of Paul's thought on suffering is his conception of suffering as a means for sanctification, keeping pride at a minimum and trust in God at a maximum. He says, and to keep me from being too elated by the abundance of revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I besought the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. It is in our weaknesses and sufferings that we grow in humility. We suffer to make us rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. In 2 Corinthians, St. Paul shares his experience of finding joy in the midst of sufferings and persecutions. Let's take a closer look at how he reveals his mindset and the factors contributing to his sense of joy. St. Paul speaks of a thorn in his flesh, which is believed to refer to a particular hardship or affliction he faced. Despite experiencing this adversity, he approached it with humility. He recognized that even though he pleaded for it to be removed, God's grace was sufficient for him. This humility allowed him to surrender his own desires and trust in God's plan. St. Paul acknowledges that when he is weak, he is actually strong because it is in his weakness that perfection of God's power is made manifest. He understood that his suffering and weaknesses served as a testament to the strength and power of God working through him. This realization gave him a profound source of joy and allowed him to rely on God's strength rather than his own. St. Paul acknowledges that he delights in his weaknesses, insults, hardships and persecutions 
for the sake of Christ. This statement reflects a profound contentment and acceptance of his circumstances. His joy came from the understanding that his suffering was not in vain and was part of his journey as a follower of Christ. St. Paul's unwavering faith and trust in God were paramount to his ability to find joy in suffering. He believed God's grace was sufficient and that his power would made perfect in weakness. His faith allowed him to look beyond his immediate circumstances and trust in the greater purpose and plan that God had for his life. From this passage, we can gather that St. Paul found joy in embracing his weaknesses and hardships as an opportunity for God's strength to shine through. His humility, contentment, faith and trust in God allowed him to endure suffering with a joyful spirit. By shifting his perspective and relying on God's grace and power, he found a deep sense of joy that sustained him even in the face of significant challenges. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, the mystery of suffering at times still challenges my faith to its very depths. I know that I am weak and that you are strong. I ask that you be merciful to me and to our world. I need your grace to transform my suffering into power, as your son did with the cross, and as your servant Paul did in his ministry. Help me in my weakness, Lord. Do not let my fears, insecurity, and anxieties conquer me. Let me find that strength that you promise to those who suffer for the sake of righteousness and let me boast only of the cross of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah.